George Washington High School, a place of learning and a safe environment where students can freely express themselves. A school without walls or borders as it was advertised on Unity Day. But is it really a school without walls where a student's form of individuality cannot be limited by school rules? That's debatable. As in George Washington High School and other schools, there's a rule, a wall that restricts students from truly expressing themselves by denying them the privilege to wear hats. We asked students about the hat rule and how they feel about it. Well, I think it's a very unnecessary rule. I feel like the hat rule is an unnecessary rule and that we should not have this rule. I feel like the hat rule in school is unnecessary. Personally, I don't like this rule. I think this rule is useless and unnecessary. I don't necessarily think it like benefits students or benefits teachers removing my hat in any way. It's just another form of clothing. Um, it doesn't really affect any like anybody's learning at all, so I'm not a big fan of it. We then asked teachers for the perspective on this rule. I feel that the hat rule is an unnecessary rule. Why? I don't know. I had to really think about why we have the hat rule. And then I remembered that I student taught at North High School where there is a big gang influence there, a big gang issue at that time, about, I don't know, 12 or 13 years ago. I am definitely for the hat rule in school. You know, some of the reasons for that being it can be a, discra a distraction. So I think that the reason for not wearing hats or not allowing students to wear hats was spawned by a gang affiliation. I think sometimes students don't even think about it. Like if there's a student sitting in front of me per se and they're wearing their hat a little bit higher, um, it could block somebody's view behind them um, of the board or something like that. It mostly serves and functions to promote conformity more so than any other consequences that it might be uh, said to be uh, promoted. Another question that we had to answer was, why do you believe this is a rule in our school? Security being an issue, oh, from what I heard at like elementary school was like a lot of gang related hats, just like blue and red was like the kind of like main thing at that point in time. The hat rule in school is so security cameras can see your face, but if people like me wear it backwards, you can clearly see my whole face. But now like we have people wearing like hats with pineapples on them, or like my hat that I was wearing earlier uh, this week with the number three on it, just for like Chance the Rapper. Well, from what I've heard, I've heard that it's either because if you wear a hat, you could be involved in gangs, depending on the color. I think it's a runner school uh, because the bill of the cap covers the person's face so it won't be able to be shown on camera. I honestly don't think there are any gangs at George Washington High School or any students. I mean, there maybe are students involved in gang affiliation, but I don't think they use hats to represent that. They don't use it to express that they're in a gang. I think there are bigger issues to worry about um, than just what you wear. Of course, uh, there's gang-related um, clothing, but some people just wear regular hats that just for looks, and they're not even in any gang. I feel like we should change the rules around the hats, so I'm not a big fan of them. Quite honestly, I'm not exactly sure why we have the rule other than gang affiliation. I think there were, back in the day, a lot of uh, ideas on having uniforms in school. So I think it's uh, probably a policy that goes back um, probably over uh, hundreds of years where students were just, you know, not allowed to have hats in school. I think that the students should definitely make the case if they believe that they should have freedom of individuality. I was told by a teacher once that um, it really became an issue in the 1990s when they felt like there were a lot of gang issues uh, around Denver and apparently here at George Washington as well. Um, but uh, from my time here at George Washington, which has been since 2012, uh, I, I know that we do have some students who might be uh, affiliated in some way with some gang activity, but um, don't feel that um, hats are generally used in that way at the school by students who do try to bring hats and wear hats. I don't, uh, I don't believe that. There's a whole lot of that happening as far as gang affiliation is concerned. 
I feel like the primary function of it is to promote conformity. Um, and I think as an English teacher in particular, um, it's, it's important to teach my students to be able to think for themselves, to be able to think beyond uh, whatever the, the rules and structures and, and guidelines are that everyone's always asking them to, to work within. Um, there are structures and guidelines that are in place for good reason. Uh, the cost of one's individuality is, is not something that I want to be a part of. If you had the power to change this rule, would you change it? Oh yeah. yeah. Yes, I would get rid of that rule. Well, if it was up to me, I would get rid of the rule. Yeah, I would get rid of the hat rule at school because it's really unnecessary and it just bothers kids that want to wear a hat. If I had the power to change this hat rule, of course I would, I would remove it. I just don't think it's necessary. I'm pretty sure a lot of students would agree with me in removing this hat rule. I think that we should uh, get rid of the hat rule at George Washington as well. If you're a teacher with authority, principal, by any chance, remove this hat rule. It's really unnecessary. It doesn't bring harm to anyone. Just get rid of this hat rule. We are one George.